this sharp app, we are working through some harder GCSE maths parts paper exam questions on angles. So these are all suitable for both foundation and higher. Make sure you download the PDF down below because I've made you two revision sheets on angles too. Okay, let's do this. Okay then, first up we have a square A, B, D, E and an equilateral triangle B, C, D. We want to uh, work out the size of angle E, B, C. So, E, B, C is this whole angle here that they've drawn in for us. Now, we know in a square the angles of the vertices are right angles. Now this line E, B is going to be cutting that angle exactly in half. So this blue bit is going to be 45 degrees. Now inside of the triangle, remember it's an equilateral triangle, so all angles are the same. Angles in a triangle out to 180. So 180 divided by 3 gives us 60 degrees. So that's the red part. So all together, EBC is equal to 105 degrees. Okay, next up, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, uh, E, D, C is a straight line, F is the point on A, D, so that uh, B, F, E is a straight line. We're given a couple angles, our job is to show that angle A, B, F is 70 degrees, giving a reason Right stage of our working. Okay, so ABF is this angle here. So, first up, we need to go to this 35 degree angle here. So, this angle and the 35 degree angle are vertically opposite. So they are equal. So that would be the reason for that stage. Next, opposite angles in parallelograms are equal. So because we have 75 degrees down here, we also have 75 degrees up there. And again, the reason that is opposite angles in parallelograms are equal. So now, we are inside a triangle where we know two lengths, uh, sorry, two angles, so we can work out the third. So 75 at 35 is 110 degrees. Angles in a triangle add up to 180, so 180 minus 110 does indeed equal 70 degrees. Okay, next up we have another parallelogram, and um, we're told AB is equal to uh, BP. So on the left we have an isosceles triangle. And our job is to work out the size of angle X. Okay, so there's a few things we can do with this 51 degree angle. So, because angles on a straight line add up to 180, 
we can work out this blue angle. Now it might be useful, it might not, but in the real thing, it might get you some marks either way. So 180 minus 51 is 129 degrees. Okay, so not much use at the moment. Now again, on the left we have an isosceles triangle. So two angles at the end of the same length sides are equal. So that means this chap up here is also 51 degrees. Now what that allows us to do is work out this bottom left angle of the parallelogram. So 2 times 51 is 102. So 180 minus 102 gives us 78 degrees. Now again, opposite angles in parallelograms are the same. So that means this chap over here is also 78 degrees. Okay, now from this point we now need to start thinking about the sum of angles inside of quadrilaterals. So, we know angles inside quadrilaterals have to add up to 360. And also, all together, this angle up here at point A is going to be the same as the angle down in the bottom right. So all together, that is 4x. So up here, we have 4x2. Now, if we do 78 add 78, Uh, we get 156 degrees. So that's the bottom left and top right angle. Now if we add those to the other two angles, then we get 156 add 8x is equal to 360 degrees. Now if we take away 156 degrees, we get 8x is equal to uh, 204 degrees. And then finally, if we divide 3 by 8, we get x is 25.5 degrees. Okay, next up we have angles between parallel lines. So A, B, C, D and E, F are straight lines. Part A. Ava assumes that A, B and C, D are parallel. Uh, we want to work out what answer should she get for the size of angle Y. Okay, so if A, B and C, D are parallel, then 2x add 10 and 3x minus 20 are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are the same. So to say something's the same in maths, we set them equal to each other. So 2x add 10 is equal to 
3x minus 20. So this is going to allow us to work out x. So if we add 20 to both sides, then we have 2x add 30 is equal to 3x. And then subtract 2x, we get 30 degrees is equal to x. From that, we can now work out size of 3x minus 20. So that's 3 times 30 minus 20. 3 times 30 is 90. Minus 20 is 70 degrees. Okay, so that's that angle. There's also that angle. Now, angle Y lies on a straight line with 70 degrees. So Y at 70 degrees, 180 degrees. So Y is 110 degrees. Okay, but then for part B, we are told in fact A, B and C, D are not parallel. Angle W is 60 degrees. Uh, what effect does this have on the size of angle Y? Okay, it's three marks. So, let's see what would happen now. So if W is 60 Degrees, that means 2x add 10 is also 60 degrees. Now the problem is now because AB and CD are not parallel, 2x add 10 and 3x minus 20 are no longer corresponding. But what we can do is work out the value of x. So this means then 2x add 10 is equal to 60. Take away the 10, 2x is equal to 50. Divide by 2, x is 25 degrees. So, now that we know that, we can work out the size of 3x minus 20. So 3 times 25 minus 20 is 55 degrees. Now the final question for this set. I do have enough questions to make a second set of these at the moment. So I will link my brand new angles and geometry playlist down below. So here, BCD is a straight line. Uh, we're told triangle ABC is equilateral. Uh, CE is equal to DE. So the right hand triangle is isosceles. Work out the size of angle X. Okay, so well, together, we have three angles here on a straight line. Now we know that triangle ABC is equilateral, so the size of one angle is 180 divided by 3, which is 60 degrees. So that angle is 60 degrees. Okay, now in triangle uh, CDE, so it's isosceles, which means these two angles down there are equal. So if we do 180 minus 28 we get 152 degrees. 
And then if we divide that by 2, we get 76 degrees. So we now know that uh, 60 add 76 add x is 180 degrees. Now 60 add 76 is 136. Finally, subtract 136 from both sides, and we get x is 44 degrees. Okay then guys, that's the end of these questions, so I really hope you found them useful. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. I have separate playlists of exam questions like this for higher and foundation they are linked down below if you have any requests for topics you want done like this let me know down below in a comment for now take it easy take care